Welcome to the fastest daf in town. Today we must to see Avamus daf Samach Hey. We are going to begin on Samach Hey Amud Aleph by the two dots four lines from the top. Tanurbam Nisi Sarishon. Let's say she marries uh, one person. Vlo Hayulabanim. She can't have kids. Well, Shani. She marries a second guy. Vlo Hayulabanim. And again, she can't have kids. So and then because of that, she leaves. And the Lashlishi Lo Tinase. We say that she should not marry a third husband because it's pretty clear that she's probably not going to be able to give kids with him, but she is allowed to marry the following case. She can marry a guy who already has kids. So if the man already was Makai in the midst of Puravu, so she's allowed to marry other uh, another man. Okay. What happens if the third time she did it anyway? She married a guy that doesn't have kids. So Tainzebuluksuba. So in that situation, she will leave this relationship, and no ksuba is given. Now, this is clearly mashma, that only the third guy doesn't have to give the ksuba. But the first two husbands did give her ksuba, as the chazaka wasn't yet established, that she can't have kids. With this, Iboy Lodimar asked the following questions. Nisayis l'shlishi. Let's say again, she married to this third guy, and did not have children. Mahu, what is it in? Now, he doesn't have to give her a ksuba. The question is, how about the first two? He already gave, they already gave him a ksuba, but now the chazak has been established that she can't have kids. Me, Matsi, I'm related to these guys now say, husbands one and two, in Gali Milsa, it's already, Umafreya, it's recognizable and revealed, the Atu de Garmus. It was your, the reason why we couldn't have kids. And therefore, you should return the ksuba back to me. Well, Dilma Matzis Amrullah, maybe she can say, no, Hashtahu de Chachashi. Now I got weaker. In other words, the issue of me not being able to have a child is only now with the third husband, but not with you. Even though I couldn't have children with you either, but it's not necessarily a raya that my issue was in your time. And therefore, I don't have to give back the Ksuba. So, Mastabra, it's logical. Matzis Amrullahu Hashtahu de Chachashi. That we can say, we go Buster Hashta the way it is now. And we say, okay, now she has a Chazaka not having kids, but before that, not necessarily. So, therefore, those two first men are not able to get their Ksuba monies back. Iboyahu. Again, with this logic, we ask a different question. Nisis or V. Let's say she ended up marrying a fourth guy. And this man already had children. Now, Mahu, what is the din? Do we say that the third person can now come along? Now, in other words, since she didn't get a ksuba from the third husband, can she now claim it? Now, maybe if she's able to have kids, the fourth guy, maybe she should be able to claim it. So, Amrin in law, so we say to her, don't say a word. Why? Okay, great. You had a child, Mazel Tov, with your fourth husband. Your silence is better than your speech. Better that you don't make a claim because your claim is actually going to hurt you. Because he could say to her, the third husband, ah, If it was for this, I would never have divorced you, says Rashi. And we see this in other places. If I knew that you were able to have kids, I would never have divorced you. And therefore he's basically making it that the get that he gave was really not a good get because it was only given almanas that she can't have children. So it's better that she shouldn't say anything because she's going to end up causing their children will end up being mamzerim. This child that she had, because really maybe Shitaka is married still to the third guy. So better that she shouldn't say anything, and she shouldn't say, oh, try to claim her ksuba, because she can have more problems with her child. Masvira papa, ihi, what's that? So ihi, shaska, fine. So she'll be quiet, but anan mi shaskinon. But how about the basin? Fine, we're, we're not going to have her say anything, but the question is, is that a, rea- a real point? Nimsa get bottle but the zerim. Maybe really that is true. That the get should be bottle and the ch- that her fourth child, her child from her fourth marriage, is actually a mamzer. El well, we have a difference for I'm Rinan Hashtahu Debriasa. We can she can just say the claim, now you became healthy. Notice the third husband can say, Now you became healthy. But you were at a chazak of not being able to have kids, that's why I don't have to give you a ksuba. Question three. 
Nisus Urvi Bahoyobanim, she had kids. Bahoyobanim means she produced children, right? She had kids. So in that situation, uh, again with the fourth husband, so the question is, can the third can she demand her ksuba back from the third guy? So in the Havamina, no. Why? Because uh the armily adite the hachi um Sa'it's bas bonim lugurashtia. Shit had had I known that you were able to have children, I would never have divorced you. Or in Maskana, we see Hashtu Hashtu Devroy, that now you became healthy. In other words, maybe now you're able to have a child, but when it came to the third husband, no. And therefore still she cannot get her ksuba. Two dots. Who Aymar so let's say the third husband says me no. That's from me. Vihi Amra Mine. So they're going back and forth, says Rashi, Mina, Yodeya ni Shemachmasahu Shein Libanim. I know it was because of you that we couldn't have kids. Well etin ksuba, I'm not gonna give you a ksuba. And she says, No, it's because of you we can't have kids. So Omarav Ami Devarm Shabin Vina matters which are of private matters which take place having Tashmish Nemenes. She's actually be the one that's believed. But time of my he kaimala bayar kachets, but who lo kimle bayar kachets. The only way that a man is able to produce a child, as Rashi says, is his shechma sera has to come out literally kachets, like an arrow. If not, then he will not be able to produce a child. So she has the ability to sense that problem inside her body, as opposed to him, he may not be aware that he has that issue. And therefore, her claim is stronger than his claim. Amr Ihu, if he says, Azel Insiv Isasa, let me just marry another woman. I'm not gonna, we're not going to get divorced. Let's marry a second woman. And she will prove it, right? Well, I'll have a second wife, and she will be the one that will, will prove the whole matter. And I'm going to show you that I'm going to end up having a child with a second woman. So therefore, Chayra, that should be... Um, proof that you're wrong. So, Rav Ami, Afbazu, Yoitzivitink Suba. No. Even in this situation, she can leave without a Ksuba, uh, and, and she will get a Ksuba, rather. Shani Oymer, Kohan, Naisa Isha, Al Ishto, Yoitzivitink Suba. You don't have the right to marry another woman in your relationship unless you receive consent from her. And if she's not willing to do that, then this is not an option. Rav Oymer, Naisi Adam, Kama Noshim, Al Ishto. It's not true. A person is able to marry an additional wife or numerous wives. What is the stipulation? What's the criteria? It's not totally on whether your wife acquiesces. It's for who the Islay You have to have the ability to financially support having multiple wives. As we continue to Samache Ahmed Bays. Who Omar, if let's say the man says, a palt. Uh, Bigo Eser, you miscarried within ten months, and Rashi says, "Kishanu boyin lekoifa lohitzi, who Omer hepilo b'tach Eser ve'adayin in zvan lohitzi." It's not yet time for me to, uh, for us to separate because I think you did, you had a miscarriage. The Omer lo aplit. She says, "No, I did not have it," and therefore she suggests that I am a um, barren woman. And therefore, we should get divorced. Um, Rabbi Ami, again, Afmazu, Hina Menes. We believe the woman more than him. Deim Isa, Dehipila. If it was true that she had a miscarriage, Nasha Bakarta Lomachsaka. She would not speak about herself as being barren. A woman does not want to admit the, or, or lie that she's barren. Um, it would be better for her to say, I'm capable of having a, um, getting pregnant, but unfortunately, I had a miscarriage. A, a woman would not say that she is barren unless it's absolutely the case. And then the Gemara says, Hapila v'chaz, Rebbe Hapila v'chaz, Rebbe Hapila, so hukzaka in the fallen. If let's say that she keeps having miscarriages, so she has a chazaka for that. Who, which which uh, means again, that um, says Rashi, you eat if you think suba. You, she, you divorce, but you give her a ksuba, says Rashi, It could be because of you, why she can't have children to term. 
Who Omer Apila Trey? He says that you had two miscarriages. He Omer Tlos, and therefore it's a Chazaka by me. So Omer Rav Yitzchak, Omer Rav Yitzchak Bar Elazar, Uv the Havi Beimid Rasha Biomer He Mehimna. Again, we believe her. Dim Isa the Lo Apla Nafsha Beniple Lo Machzika. Unless she's telling the truth, she's not going to say that she has a Chazaka for having miscarriages. And then now we see the next uh, Mishnah. Ha'ish Matsuva al Purivarivia of Aloha Isha. A man is obligated in this mitzvah of having children, but not women. Rabbi Yochan ben Baraika Oimer al Shnehim hu Oimer bi Yavarach Oisam al Kim bi Yermelahem al Kim Barabu. So it's actually a machlokas whether or not women are machoyev in Puravu. Of course, practically, a man needs a woman in order to be able to have a child, but he's the one who has the obligation. The Pasik says, They will complete and fill up the world and conquer it. It's the way of a man to conquer and not for a woman. And therefore, there's this connection between having a child and this notion of conquering. That was a language. Of Lashon Rabbim, so it should include women. So Rabbi Yitz, Rabbi Nachman Yitzchak for Kav Shiksev. You're supposed to read it differently, so it's only as one. Rabbi Yosef Omer Mahacha. He actually says you derive it from a different pasuk. It says in Brachus, Ani is referring by Yaakov Kel Shadai Perei Ravei Veloy Kamer Puravu. So he was talking specifically about himself. Yamei Veloy Mishem Rabbi Lazar Rabbi Shimon. Kishem shem mitzvah al adam loy merdaber hanishma. Just like it's a mitzvah person to say uh, a matter which he heard, kach mitzvah al adam shloy merdaber sheino nishma. It's also a mitzvah to not say things that you didn't hear. In other words, you have to make sure to say what the truth and what's not true. Don't say. Of abba oymer chayva. It's actually. An obligation to not deviate from the truth. Shnemar al toichach leitz. Do not uh, rebuke a scoffer. Pen yish yisa neko. Maybe he'll hate you. Hochach lachacham. Rather rebuke the wise. Vayehaveka, and he'll love you. Yom Rabbi Yulam Yishem Rabbi Lezer Rabbi Shimon. Mutu lo adam l'shanais b'davar shalom. It's a famous Gemara that a person is able to change the words around, not to lie, but to kind of change the story a little bit in order to be able to promote peace. Shinemar. Avicha Siva. It says that your uh, your father commanded. Ko tomru Yosef. Go, so said to Yosef, Anas sanavigaymer. To go and to forgive uh, the brothers. So if you look in Rashi, Yaakov Otsiva. Yaakov actually didn't say that you should forgive the brothers um, for the whole Mechira. They changed it for Darche Shalom. Again, they were hoping to be able to find a way to be able to make amends. Rav Nassan Eimer Mitzvah. Sometimes it's a mitzvah change. And Eimer B'yomer Shmuel. So Shmuel said, Eich Eilich. How can I go? B'shama Shol. That Shol here. Uh, Hargani and Shaul the king is going to hear that I'm around. He's going to want to kill me. Um, says Rashi, Uksiv vayoymer Hashem eglas bakar tikach biadech. You should take this calf in your hand via martel is boyach, and you should slaughter it. Hakadosh Baruch Hu tsiva l'shanais. So Hashem commanded to to change. Debei Rabbi Shmuel Tanek Gadol Hashem Shav Hakadosh Baruch Hu Shina Boy. Uh, originally, when it came to Avraham and Sar, who couldn't have kids, is Vadaini Zakin. That my master is old. And then she said, How can I have a child? I am old. So even when it came to the words of Hashem, these words were changed in order to be able to promote uh, peace, says Rashi. Sar Amr Lushan. Bizoy. Sarah spoke not nicely, said, Vadaini Zakin, my husband's old. However, Kshigil, Akadish Baruch, a devil Abraham, when Hashem revealed it to Abraham, Ksiv Lomaza Sachasar, why is she laughing? Vadaini Zakanti, 
after she's saying that I'm old. Instead of saying that you are old, she said that I am old, talking about herself. Okay, question four and TB twenty-one. So we see again Hashem spoke uh, so again, that he should be uh, forgiven. Let's see. Question that was that was question for TB twenty one. Okay. All right, so it's an interesting thing. Even though Torah's MS is true, but sometimes it doesn't say you can lie, but you can kind of just change the language a little bit in order to be able to uh, be cause peace. Rav Yochan ben Broika Oimer Itmar Rav Yochan Rav Yeshua ben Levi Chad Oimer Halacha Rav Yochan ben Broika. One says the Halacha is Rav Yochan ben Broika, who says that there's a mitzvah. Both a man and woman to have prabu. To stand Rav Yochan and the Amr in Halacha. It's probably he, Rav Yochan, will hold that the Halacha is not like him. Namely, the mitzvah is really only on the man. The Yosef Rabavoi, Rabavoi said, I remember she made Rav Yochan and Halacha. He was saying over the Halacha, Vad Rinu Rav Amir Rav Asi wa Paihu. And Rav Amir Rav Asi like, turned. Their their faces says Rashi. He no, he said the halacha was Rabbi Yochanan ben Nura ben Broika, and they turned their face. Says Rashi, the low Amra Rabbi Yochanan mi oil and the chelka loy kavoy lo rotsu hachishay. The Ika the army some say Rabbi Chia bar Abba Eimer. He said it. Vadrinu Rabbi Amra Rabbi Asi la payu. They turned their faces. Amra Papa Bishul mamandi Amra Rabbi Avo Amra. That was Rabbi Avo who said in Mishim Kavo. Covered by Kesar will Amru Levo Midi to show the respect of the Kesar. Uh, he didn't uh, say anything. No, Amandi Amru Rav Chia Bar Alma Amru Lemru Levo Amru Rav Yochan Hachi. Why didn't they respond? Okay, my Havuah. So what is the Maskana? What is the final word? Tashma. The Amru Rav Achabar Chanina Amru Rav Avo Amru Rav Asi Uvda Havi Kamei Rav Yochanan. There was a story because this the Kesari. The Amru Yoytziv Eating Suba. She can go out and uh, get her get. And Rashi says the Uvdas the Tovato Lagarsha. She was claiming to get divorced. She didn't have children. The If you want to tell me that she is not commanded to having children, Ksuba Maya So what is this whole notion about her getting uh, a Ksuba? Right? It must be because she herself has rights to be able to make sure she has a child so she can be kind that mitzvah. No, Dilma, Bilba Machmas Taina. Maybe you're talking, it, it, it was Machmas Taina. It was only because there was a claim. What does that mean? Like Mark explains, Kiahi, uh, for example, the following story. Da'asoli kemei d'rav ami, amrulei havli ksuba, give me my ksuba, amrulei, Zil go well. Mifkudas, you are not commanded in the mitzvah of Puravu. Armalei mitzivu di la. Rashi says, "Vzikenasa matelah." Your uh, old age, what will it be? So my tabi matevelah the hachisasa. What will be with this woman? In other words, who's going to take care of me if I don't have children? So Omer he said, "Kiha vadi kafina." And you're right. For this, in fact. He could, she could force him to give to, to divorce with Aksuba because she wants to have children to be able to care for her when she's older. Hahi, and therefore that's Bamakamas Taina. In other words, what it means is if she claim makes a valid claim, I want to have a child, so then we allow her to uh, to leave with Aksuba. Similarly, Hahi the Asali committed Rav Dachman, Amalei, Lo Mifkadis, you're not commanded in this mitzvah. So Amalei, Lo Boy Hach Isasa. Chutra liyada. Does this woman need a cane in her hand, umaral kvora, and a shovel for burial? In other words, who's going to be the one that's going to take care of my remains or me during uh, my last days? So Amr again, he said, Kiha vadi kafina. You're right. You you need children to be able to care for you for these things. Yehuda vechizkia to umim 
Hoyu. So Yehuda and Chizkiah were actually twins. Echa nigmer tzurasai was saif tisha. One of them, their tzur was completed after nine. The echa nigmer tzurasal with chila shiva. One was at the beginning of seven months. Yehudis debased Ravchia. Yehudis, who was the wife of Ravchia, havli tsar leida. So she had uh, difficulty um, giving birth. Um, Shanoi mana. So she changed clothes. Yasa kamed Ravchia. Amr isisa. Mifkada apir vrevia. You know, you commanded on Puravu. So Amula, lo, no. So Azza ishtaya sama de karta. So she took this special medicine which affected her from having to have children. So in going milsa, and then it became revealed what had happened. Amula, so they said to her, Ichu yulatli, if it would be that you would give birth to me, Chade kresa. Ach, uh, achar, achar, says Rashi. Uh, uh, Yehuda and Chizkia, um who were twins. As we continue in Sabbath Vavah Manalav, Achvasa. They were also twins. And it says, Ubanaisim Hayu. Velo mifkede. This question is, what do you mean? They're not commanded. Ve'yom Rav Achamar, Bar Rav Katina, Rav Yitzchak, Vasa be'ish achas shechetzia shivcha lechetzia bas chayrin, where she was half free, half a slave, which usually means there was two owners and one freed them. Oh, so his half. The kafuas Rav v'yasa bas chayrin. So he forced him, the other master to make her free. Says Rashi, Kadesh and Hemu Teresli Nase, in order that she should get married. Obviously, because she must be commanded in the midst of a Puravu. Says Rashi, If she wouldn't be able to get married because she'd be half free and half a slave, she would basically make herself like ownerless, the Chaitimba, and people would sin with her. With Shachra. It has nothing to do with whether or not she's Matsuva or not Matsuva. It's just the notion that by doing this will enable her to be able to not be Hefker, so this way she'll be able to live a better life. But doesn't necessarily not arrive that she can have, she's obligated to having um, kids. Okay. Question, let's see, question three, question four we saw. TA. Eighteen. Isha shetava says bala legarsha machma shein lobanim haim kaifen ois legarsha v'liting suba. So a woman who uh, tovas who claims to her husband, I want a divorce because there is because I can't have kids with you. So lamandi oimer isha matsuva apuravu yaitzi ting suba. Certainly, in the, if you hold that she's matsuva, which is a machlokes to have a child, then certainly that's correct. The din is that she's able to do so this way because she's mechuyev to have a child, according to that opinion. However, the one who says she's not mitzvah, rak bebo machmas tayin. If again, chutra liyadi, again, she needs uh, to have a child. So eventually, when she's not able to take care of herself, they'll be able to t- help her and take care of her. Hanu lachaba al yevimto, hanu lachaba al yevimto, hanu lachaba al yevimto. We now begin the seventh parak. Which we said is a case of Chavi Lavin, Hechnisaloi, Abdi Mulug, the Abdi Tsoin Bars of Abdi Mulug, Loyoichel Betruma, Abdi Tsoin Barzel Yoichel Adkan.